Hello, Frida here. So today I want to show you how you can decorate your repurposed underwear from my previous video. I'll link that above and also show you an underwear pattern that assembles differently. So this pattern from a wardrobe by me has three pieces, a front, a back and a gusset. And you'll need some fold over elastic too. Connect the front and back pieces directly without a gusset in between. And then attach the gusset piece on top of this with the help of markers on the pattern. I have used an organic bamboo fleece here. It's what I used as a core when I sew cloth pads and I thought it would be nice and soft. Just making sure everything is straight and pinning it in place. The gusset is then sewn in place with a stretchy zigzag and this is a seam that will more or less show from the outside depending on thread and fabric. This is a construction choice you will have to take into consideration. You get a bigger gusset piece with no folded over seams, while in the pattern in my last video you get no visible seams but a shorter gusset piece. Then the sides are sewn together. Pinning the gusset in place in preparation for the fold over elastic. I start with the waist, placing the start and finish close to the middle back. Gently stretch the elastic as before, lining up the edge of the fabric with a fold in the elastics, going all the way around almost to where you started. Remember to hold the side seams allowances to the back. Then gauge how much elastic you need for the fold and overlap and cut the elastic. Line it up how you want it, sew to the edge of the fold. Turn the panties 90 degrees and zigzag over the edge of the fold. Trimming the fabric before folding over and sewing the elastics to the other side. For the leg openings I start on the back piece close to the side seam. I thought that would be the least noticeable place to have an overlap and sew the elastic in place in the same way as usual. Make sure the gusset piece gets nicely enclosed.
And here they are, finished! You can see the seams from attaching the gusset piece, but since the thread is matching, it's very minimal and does not show when you are wearing the underwear. I chose to decorate these with a simple little bow. On these blue ones, I have used a decorative bra elastic instead of the fold-over elastic for the waist hem. This is not designed to fold over, so you attach it by first zigzagging it right side to right side with the decorative edge facing down, close but not touching the decorative loops. Then as you can see me doing, folding it to the back and zigzagging again from the front, which makes the decorative part stick up above the fabric. Very nice, these ones also got a little bow. Here we have a pink example of not having enough fabric. I decided to put panels of a lighter pink fabric on the side of the front. I made them too big and then cut it out according to the pattern. I found this little strip of ribbon on the inside neck of the original sweater. Seam drift it loose and attach it to one side of the panels. I used a straight stitch here as the ribbon does not have any stretch anyway. Cut off the excess and hid the edges in the fold over elastic. I really like how these ones turned out. Next we have my stripy prison underwear. I got the panel with the buttons off the sleeve and it was fun matching it with the stripes of the underwear. I sewed this on by hand, it was easier than trying to navigate around the buttons and hem with a sewing machine. I really like how the red elastic livened up this fabric. And here you can see that the seam from the gusset is much more evident. These dusty blue ones came from a sweater that had see-through lace at the top of the front and back. In this case I cut out a full front of the pattern and then found two matching pieces of lace and zigzagged them onto the sides. Then I cut away the fabric underneath making these see-through lace panels. Adorned with a tiny mother of pearl button. These teal ones was a bit of an accident, I made them too low for my liking and made a large double folded hem piece to get the correct height. In this case I had a tunic to start with and therefore more fabric, so I decided to make something fun with the stripes. I cut some strips on the diagonal and meticulously pinned them together matching every stripe. A miss here would ruin the effect. I made two of these, sewed them together and put them in the center of the front piece with the stripes pointing downwards. Then I sewed on the side pieces and an extra bit for the gusset. I love the green fold over elastic on this, it really complements the colors of the fabric. And the little bird decorating the front came with the tunic. Thank you so much for watching, if you liked the video don't forget to give it a thumbs up, that really helps me, and subscribe for more crafty content. 
If you do like what I do, consider sponsoring me via Coffee to help make these videos possible. And thank you so much to Janet Ford who did just that. Thanks again for watching and see you next time! Thank you.